Yeah, dude. I do, dude. I do all cra kinds of crazy shit behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> How can the 12900K perform better with only eight cores compared to 10 cores? It's just an Alder Lake core is like twice the size of a Skylake core, man. They're fucking massive. They just, they do twice as many operations per cycle, right? That's the only reason why. Um, and multi-threading has diminishing returns. So, so like four cores 10 gigahertz eight cores five gigahertz this one's better in gaming a lot better assuming same ipc architecture and all that shit. even though theoretically they would both have the same cinebench score this is way faster the you want to reduce core count, increase clock speed and IPC, and that will always be better for gaming, right? It's just a theoretical example of how how that shit works, right? So you got a 10900K, uh, you got a 10900K, 10 cores, right? Then let's say the cores are this big, four, five, one, two, three, four. Let's say that's your 10900K, right? Now, let's say this is your Alder Lake with eight cores. All right, that's all it is. This one can just do way more work in the same. It's just, the, they're fucking fat bitches, dude. They're, they're fucking fatties is the Alder Lake core. That's why they're so fast, right? So the game engine is like, here you have this workload and the workload is this thick of a pipe however the game wants to split up this pipe is up to the game engine right so like if half of this if half of this pipe fits into one core over here it still has seven more cores to do the other pipes right that's how you can think about it uh and that's also if the game scales with 10 cores right How much of an FPS from tightening RAM timings? I already did that. You mean like tertiaries and shit? Dude, you're already at 37 nanoseconds. Just don't touch it. There is this, you're, dude, you're at 37 nanoseconds. There is zero FPS. Don't go down the rabbit hole. Trust me. Zero FPS from any more tightening. Zero. Trust. 37 nanoseconds is fucking insane, dude. Uh, let me catch up. Yeah, there's no... You, you, you would get more performance from, like... See, like, remember how we were talking before about, like, the stripped windows? And, like, liquid metal on the IHS. That's the level you're at now, right? You're... you're I This was the, um... This was the no. What the fuck? Aim for 34, 35 with B dice says who? Why would you do that? If it doesn't give you any more FPS, why would you waste your time? He's better off playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Um You're so I was explaining this to another guy the other day. When you get to that level of FPS and performance, you are doing a hundred percent work for one percent fps right that's how so so it's like water cool memory go down to 35 nanoseconds okay that's like one uh, percent fps okay um liquid metal ihs one percent fps Stripped windows, 1% FPS. I don't even know what else you can fucking do, dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, what's the what's another one fucking fucking do here? I don't even remember, dude. Um, 
so when you add all this up and it ends up being three percent or like five percent you do a bunch of one percenters oh yeah water cool the graphics card push that shit to higher clock speeds push the ring clock all that shit right let's say you get five percent out of all doing all this that's 10 fps for all this work and risk just who fucking cares dude who gives a shit that's that's hardware enthusiast territory those people don't play games they don't play games that's that's the shit that i do to make it so nobody has as much fps as i do on stream i never tell people to do that shit it's a waste of fucking time if i wasn't a youtuber i wouldn't be doing any of that shit dude it's a complete waste of time uh let me catch you up here any tips for delitting for the first time it's terrifying dude it's terrifying um oh dude that's gonna be fucking wild make sure you post a picture in the discord if you snap or die um just, 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 just own that shit if you break it right uh oh man okay when delitting for the first time oh man okay that's probably the last thing we talk about i got my, my voice is fucking shot guys this is your cpu right this is your cpu this is your ihs i'll just put this as blue here okay now the delid tool pushes here right sideways so okay you don't want to know a pro fucking tip this is the frame chasers tip okay this is how this is how i did it my first time okay this is the pro fucking tip dude okay before you do, okay so you get your d-lid tool so oh my god dude okay you take the d-lid tool and you have it ready okay now if you take my advice and you break your shit don't don't bother me with it's not my fucking problem okay what you do you put the cpu in the socket in your motherboard with no cpu cooler you power that shit on you put your finger on the ihs when it burns you and you can't hold your finger on it anymore you power the system off you take the CPU out quickly, put it in the die tool, and you delit it because the solder will be softer and warm, right? If you're really, you don't have to do that, but that's how I did it my first few times. Because I'm like, I don't like the heat gun approach either, right? Yeah, dude, I do, dude, I do all cra kinds of crazy fucking shit behind the scenes that you guys don't know about. Oh yeah, dude. So anyway. This, the, what, what what you do because if you if, it, if it's burning your finger it has to be at least like 40 or 50 celsius on top which means the solder is quite hot right like blistering so then you can delete it quite easily right now when you are using the tool on it yeah i don't know dude it's just like it's hard to describe it's it's going to require so much force that you're like 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 when like just when you think it's like how can i put any more force into this thing and it's still not moving you think that if you apply any more force it's gonna just break and then it finally pops and you th and it, dude yeah um you know what you can do just like maybe borrow your friend's 10 600k or something first or just like like get like a if you're really worried about it buy like a 10 100 f or something for like 50 bucks and practice on that first or some shitty fucking intel chip just whatever just practice on something else first right 
You know what I mean? Don't like go balls in on your 10900 k because that's expensive as shit, right? Uh, let me catch up here. Dude, I do so much crazy shit behind the scenes. I, Dude, where there's a will, there is a way. I've fucking done it, dude. Uh, let me... You know what I mean? Or, you know what you can do? Go on Craigslist. Sometimes... There's just like D-Lid services. All the time, dude. D-Lid. Computer builds or help and tune up. Need help water cooling. Something complicated. Dude, there's always somebody on Craigslist doing D-Lid service. Just hire them for 50 bucks and don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Unless you're going to do more than one CPU, then why worry about the tool in the first? Just go fucking pay somebody. They have all the liability and shit. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 